All right, so if you're tired of losing on NBA 2K24, like I have the perfect build for you. It requires literally zero skill. You can win every single one of your games that you know you need to win. Your win percent will be boosted by like 20% and everybody's honestly just gonna hate you. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you're playing the game to win, right? So I mean, we gotta join the dark side. We gotta make this build. I'm gonna bring you guys to the builder. All I ask from you guys is to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, it helps the channel out a lot. It helps me a lot. And I mean, yeah, any tweaks you guys have to this build, just leave it down in the comments but without further ado i mean let's just get right into it so i mean if you guys read the title you guys already saw some of the stats that were in this build and i mean you're truly never gonna lose again i don't think when i'm on this build i really lose games at all but i mean without further ado let's get into it so we're going to be going with a shooting guard we're going to be going with six nine 188 pounds let me put it down to that and then a seven foot three wingspan so i mean yeah we're gonna be one of those cringe tall guards that play against little guards in the 1v1 i mean it's that simple Go ahead and press continue and look at all these attributes we got to fill up. So as always, if you've ever watched one of my build videos, we go down to the physicals because I mean, that's just the, that's the foundation of our build. So we're going to go with an 81 speed. We're going to be going with a 73 Excel. We're going to be going with a 74 strength, a 68 vertical. That is way too much 68 vertical. And we're going to be going with a 99 stamina. So, I mean, the 74 strength, the only thing we could say about that is it gives us bulldozer and immovable forcer. But I mean, that's pretty much irrelevant because, you know, we got other attributes to fill out. So the main reason why you will never lose a game on this build is because of our finishing stats. So let's go here. Close shot. Boom. We're going with a 92. I mean, we're already pretty weird driving layup we're gonna put it up to a 60 if i could get it to that your driving dunk put it down to a 50 i don't know why it was at a 55 standing dunk boom 90 standing dunk i mean standing dunk is the most op thing in this game if you want to win games go with standing dunk and then last but not least i mean let's get even more weird our post control we're going with the 95 post control i mean literally the definition of a weirdo you could drop step into a standing dunk 99 of the time or you could do post hooks because you got that hall of fame hook specialist one of the most broken builds one of the most broken bad in the game i mean this is just stupid if you lose a game with this build either ones or twos i actually have no idea how so 92 close shot i mean it gives you badges like fearless finisher masher fast twitch pro touch dream shaker giant slayer hook specialist all of that 60 driving layup i mean 60 driving layup it just you know lets you get lets you get badges like float game on bronze spin cycle things like that but i mean you're not really going to be doing too many driving layups because you're doing 92 close shot when you're doing a drop step in the paint we got a 50 driving dunk to assist our 90 standing dunk so we can you know activate the standing dunks a little bit more 50 driving dunk we're gonna get maybe one or two packages it's not gonna be too much but the 90 standing dunk we get gold precision dunker silver aerial wizard gold fast twitch and gold rise up gold rise up is such a good badge on this game i mean if you if you if you drop step him under the rim you go up you're gonna get a dunk every single time for the most part and then you know where we get weird here the 95 post control we get hall of fame dream shake hall of fame drop stepper and hall of fame hook specialist also post fade phenom and post spin technician hall of fame drop stepper and hall of fame hook specialist are two very very underrated badges this year i mean they help you out so much when it comes to winning games but i mean like that that's just that's it for finishing i'm not gonna lie like it's very very op i literally don't think i've lost a game with this build let me go down to my playmaking let's do playmaking next because why not we got an 80 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball we're not going to do anything to our pass accuracy because quite honestly i mean this is a build to just win games on the ones court you know theater ones stage ones gatorade ones against your friend i mean it doesn't really matter so for our ball handle we have an 80 ball handle that's going to get us gold and pluckable silver ankle breaker silver handles for days gold physical handles the only thing that's bad is bronze speed booster but to be honest it's not the craziest thing in the world like if you're making this build to strictly win games and you don't really know how to dribble you could just l2 in the paint but for the more advanced dribblers i mean it's not that much of a problem you're just not going to be as fast you could still l2 cancel you could still do james harden behind the backs things like that 75 speed with ball we are going to get silver hyper drive and silver triple strike Silver hyperdrive, a really good badge, gonna make you a little bit faster, but that's it for playmaking. Let's go up to our shooting. Let's get our shooting done real quick. We got an 88 mid range shot, and then our three point is going to be a 76. Put our free throw up to a 69. People might not like the 76 three point, but to be honest, for me, I feel like I'm, I shoot just fine with it. Maybe you could readjust the attributes a little bit so you can get a 78 or 79 three point shot because the green windows are higher on there. But for me, 76 works out just fine. For our 88 mid range, I mean, we max out our mid range because we get a lot of gold badges with it. For example, we get silver blinders, gold catch and shoot, silver dead eye, gold green machine, gold guard up, gold mini magician, gold open looks, things like that. Gold mini magician is really good if you want to fade middies. I mean, you can get really tactical here. You can fade middies, 
post fadeaways. You could just do regular fading middies. It's just way too OP. And then you also get like silver dead eye if you want to shoot at three in someone's face. Gold green machine, you just got to make a couple shots and it activates. I mean, it's just a lot of badges that just boost your attributes. Now for the 76 three point, we don't really get much beside our bronze agent three. So if you want to fade in the corner, maybe fade on the wing top of the key, you could go ahead and do that. 69 free throw. I mean, it's literally going to give us nothing. If you're going to the rec center on this build, I, I just have some very, very bad news for you. But I mean, that's pretty much it for shooting. As I said before, the three point might be a little low for you. So you, you might have to twist the build a little bit for you to get a higher three point. Midi is perfect. But let's go on and wrap this build off, you know, on the defense aspect, because the defense on this build, I'm not going to lie, it gets pretty crazy for being a 6'9 with all these stats. So let's just go top to bottom. I mean, interior defense, let's go ahead and make it a 74 perimeter defense we're going to be making it an 85 the same with the steel we're going to be making it an 85 and then the block we're going to make it a 77 and after that that should be the end of that build yeah so i mean the 74 interior defense you're a 6 9 with 7 3 wingspan i doubt anyone's going to be going up on you straight in the paint unless it's a contact dunk which then unlucky we got bronze anchor bronze post move lockdown and silver workhorse the bronze post move lockdown mixed with the 74 strength if someone is l 2 you you should be able to get it most of the time like the stop bronze anchor is good Good too it makes a lot of things that go up in the paint you know not go in 85 perimeter defense this is a pretty sweet spot i mean you don't got 87 perimeter for the gold challenger but regardless you get mostly all of the badges on silver like ankle braces challenger clamps fast feed and pick dodger this silver clamps and silver challenger really does change the game for defense i mean you should be able to get stops pretty easily your speed is kind of slow in a 6-9 so you just got to have pretty good stick on this build, but you can also get bailed out with the 85 steel. I made sure to put 85 steel on this build so you get silver glove. Silver glove is a stupidly OP badge in this game. And I mean, I, I feel like that's the minimum you should go. I mean, bronze glove is okay, but silver glove, I mean, pretty much the minimum you should go. I'm going to be honest. You also get silver intercept if you're playing twos and then the silver right stick ripper. If you know how to use right stick ripper, I can't preach it enough. I mean, it's an insanely good badge. You learn how to use it. You're going to get every stop. Now 77 block, you get bronze chase on artist, but 77 block block is the best block rating you could go in this game for like in comparison to having other attributes because 77 is just enough for you to get blocks in the paint chase down blocks things like that blocking shots no idea but i mean you can maybe get a lebron chase down block every now and then offensive rebound we have nothing on our offensive rebound and defensive rebound we also have nothing it's a 44 i mean we don't have 60 for that bronze rebound chaser but i mean this build is just for my personal preferences and you know just it allows me to win every game for the most part you can get a lot of stops you can you know finish in the paint you can drop step you can post hook you can be weird but at the same time you could also shoot middies and shoot a lot of three points and you have pretty good ball handle you have pretty good strength you have good stamina you got good speed you got everything you need to be corny in nba 2k24 and boost your win rate by 20 30 percent literally i don't see how this can't be fun just sitting in the 1v1 the whole day and just you know playing on this build so let me go ahead press x press continue and let's see what build we have crafted i mean i already know the name but i mean i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of suspense i mean i don't know how this build compares to clay thompson that, that's crazy we got the inside the arc score as i said before man if you guys want to build that you know you can win all your games on go ahead and make this right here as i said before though to wrap up this video man if you have any tweaks to this build that you can think of like in terms of badges or anything like that you know maybe you can get a few extra badges if you drop some of the attributes just let me know down in the comment section below and let other people know because like they can make the build even better than the build already is because like the build is already so good but if you can think of any tweaks any preferences just let me know maybe i'll, I'll take your thoughts i consideration but yeah man if you did enjoy the video make sure to like comment and subscribe i appreciate all of the support that i've been getting recently you guys are amazing i hope you guys have a great day today and a great rest of your day i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one i'm out peace oh my god you guys do not understand what like i have in store for you guys today i mean let me just hold x to skip this so i could like shit like just go hit the my career and you guys see i'm going on my five foot seven three point shot hunter and we're going to be playing some 1v1 stage i mean literally five foot seven i'm playing a six foot seven with 93 strength and 92 post control i'm not gonna lie it's already looking over bro there, there's just no chance i mean if i'm going against a five foot seven and i'm on my iso build i'm gonna try and get a couple threes up maybe shoot over him I don't know have some funny moments oh my god there we go see oh he made it no contest whatsoever good sign i should be faster than him though but i don't think so because you know 2k for some reason oh my god wait jump 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 he jumped on a fight no 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 oh man it literally just does not matter oh my god there we go there we go no no he's greening everything